Hey, what it do, family? Hey, listen, welcome to the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show. It's your girl. Tony it is the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show out this mug, and I appreciate everybody for showing up. Hey, welcome to the Breakfast of Blood Morning Show. We up in this bitch. Good morning, team. Good morning to all of you beautiful people. You feel what I'm saying? If you're on the work and on the way to work, drive safe. You feel me? If you're working from home, get your ass up. Nah, you can't have 45 minutes. Nah, you can't have 30 more minutes. Nah, get your ass up. Go wash your ass. Get up and get on that computer. Nah, get on that laptop. You feel me? Don't be trying to cheat and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, good morning, man. I hope everybody is having a great, great day. You feel what I'm saying? Today is going to be a little loosey-goosey. You feel me? I had a, a, a guest plan for today, but it's some shit that came up. Hey, I'm going to be better because I'm going to make these niggas start signing contracts. Wasting me. You feel me? Nah, but fuck that. Y'all see the big topic, and I want to know right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, look at it. Figure it out. Y'all know that I'm going to make this shit real extra. It, it sounds a lot more simpler than it is. But I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Right here, right now. Do y'all got trust issues? Tell the truth. Do you got trust issues? Are you the reason? Are you the reason why that nigga ain't committing to you like that? Because your ass got trust issues. Hey, listen, y'all. A lot of us do. And a lot of us got them and we don't even know that we got them. And it's okay. You just got to figure that shit out before you get into another relationship. Otherwise, it ain't going to work, sir. You in a relationship right now. You're trying to make some shit work, but you don't really trust that nigga because of your past relationship. You got to let it go first, sir. You got to heal like Wolverine before you can trust that nigga. This is a proven fact. But I want to know if I'm open up these lines right now. And I want to know, have trust issues, you know what I'm saying, blocked you from some great ass people in your life? Tell the truth right now, I want to know, have, have trust issues. May you probably the goddamn missed out on the one because your trust issues was set up fucked up. I want to know right now, y'all hit me up on the phones. I know a lot of y'all is toxic, you feel me? I know a lot of y'all is toxic. I can tell by the way y'all type on this chat, you're toxic. Toxic come from trust. Trust issues. I need to know right now. I have more trust issues with female friends than men. Ooh. Now, that is something very fucking deep. That is something very, very, very fucking deep. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so let me see what else somebody else got to say. Queen Mika says she don't trust the soul. Damn. Queen Mika, you don't trust nobody? That's some deep shit. Are you somebody who don't trust nobody? How do y'all love? Nurse RN says she don't got no issues. Oh, shit. You got all the issues. I can tell by how you typing me. Girl, you was checking me all last week. You got issues. You just don't know it yet. You ain't been diagnosed. <laughs> they love. It's all good. It's all good. Yes, as far as friendship, I'm solid. And when it comes to relationships, me and my old ladies are solid. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So nobody never had trust issues. Hit me up on the phone. 678-235-4338. If you have never had trust issues before, had somebody straddle that line to where you was almost about to dump their ass because of some shit they did, what is something that you are not tolerating? I want to know right now. I have trust issues with women. I trust men more. Let me be honest with you. I have more male friends than females. And usually that's how it is. This is probably the first time in my life where I'm surrounded by more female friends than male friends. And that's really weird to me. Um, I don't know why. I just, I just never been a female friend type of person. This is the first time when I was able to really experience it. No cap. Good morning, family. Good morning. How you doing? I'm fine. Just got to celebrate my birthday last week. Oh, your, you just, your birthday just passed? Yep, the 15th. Where, uh, November 15th. Well, happy belated birthday. Yes, Miss Connie from New Jersey. Ms. What's up, Miss Connie? <laughs> What's up, Miss Connie? What you do for your birthday? Well, my daughter, she came in and she ordered something from a restaurant and she cooked for me and everything. Yeah, just me and my daughter. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. That's beautiful as hell. Do you got trust issues, Miss Connie? No, because my Bible says put up your confidence. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Your, your phone break. Your phone breaking up just a little bit. Come a little, come a little way of, uh, away from your phone. Say it again. Uh, I, I said no. I don't have trust issues. I said because I don't put my, my confidence in people. You know, mm. I just let them prove to who, to me who they are. And when they show me who they are. You know, if I don't like what's going on, or I, and I'm not feeling the vibes, and we're not vibing, you know, it's blocked, cut off, shut off. Thanks. So basically, you say you don't even give yourself a chance to get involved in trust issues because you make you you being selective from the beginning. You just like from fuck that. Beginning. Yeah, that's from the beginning. 
Yeah, that's something that I think that a lot of us got to learn to do, to be selective from the beginning. I feel like yeah. sometimes we it's, it's too late by that time. You feel me? We feel that's our bestie. Phyllis is involved, but we should be very selective from the beginning. But I understand that at all. So you ain't never had an issue with trust at all. Nope. That's great. I love that. I just let people prove to me who they are. They're going to show you who they are. I, I don't look at what's coming out their mouth. I look at what, what they're doing, their actions. Okay, now, now before you get on, I could, this is a hell of a question that I want to know. Um, if you okay. could, if you could, tr if you could teleport to the to the to the past or the future, where you going? I'm going to Paris. No, not to Paris. I said if you could teleport to the past or the future, where you going? Oh, I'm going to the future. You going to the future? Why would you pick the future? Because God showed me what's going to happen in my life in the future. <laughs> I'm going to be blessed. Very highly blessed. I get that. Thank you so much for calling, Miss Connie. Okay. Love y'all guys. Love you back. Hey, um, I used to be a person who had severe trust issues, and I'm still dabbling in them right now. I dab you dabble more in my trust issues with friendships than I do relationships. I feel like as far as my marriage, I'm solidified in that. I don't really have a problem with that trust issues and shit like that. It's just certain things that I think that um, me, me and me, you know what I'm saying? I think that certain things that we kind of made sure we were on the same page before we got into a relationship i think my trust issues is more set up with friends than than anything else swear to god what it do family good morning how you doing too good what's morning. going on with you i am doing good you doing good i mean you sound like you i mean are you sure yes i'm doing good okay I'm hey eating breakfast, thing. what you eating for but, breakfast um, um, well, I fixed me some scrambled eggs, some bacon, and some sausage. And some sausage. Gotta have a sausage. Hey, so, uh, do you have trust issues? Yeah. Yes, I do. You got them right now? Um. I mean, like, you, uh, you in, gen in general, I mean, like, are you in a relationship right now? Yes, I'm in a relationship right now. Okay, so like, do your trust issues that you have right now, do sometimes it make you have to kind of like pump your brakes before you say something to your shorty? Like, is them type of trust issues? Like, you still dealing with them a little bit? Um, well, with my with my relationship, um, my trust issues I don't have with my woman. It's basically like a friendship, I would say. Okay. It's just basically like, it's just basically like um, the friends, like who... Who I hang around with, who you know, who be lying to me, you know, who's telling the truth. That's just some type of trust issues I have. I, f I, f I feel you. I feel you completely. What is the What is the last thing that a friend did to rub you the wrong way to where you like, oh hell no, nah, here we go again? So um, I found out that a friend. Well, I thought he was a friend at first, but he was. Uh, it's a she, but she went. She went on the internet, you know, mm -hmm. just trying to slander my name just talking about me and everything and i don't know why she did that i even told her like in person mm -hmm. like i don't i don't want to i don't want to fuck with you no more because mm -hmm. like she claimed that oh oh i got your back and everything how they mistreat you at your job and stuff but don't get me wrong she used to come she used to come to my old job every single day mm -hmm. and i'm like and i was like you said that you said you're going to have my back and everything, but you seen all the stuff they mistreat me at a job and stuff like that. But all of a sudden, you, you lied and, then you, and you kept your word that you said you was going to uh, do something about it and everything. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you already saw what happened. Yeah. So, on my last day, I told her, I say, hey, Shay, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I'm done with you. I don't want to with you no more. I told her that on my last day. Then, then like a uh, month later, she went on the internet and everything. And I didn't even expect her to go on the internet because, like, we already talk about that. Yeah. You know? And then, like, when she was coming to my old job, she just be putting me down like everybody else. But I just really thought she's, like, a real friend. I just really thought that she's just, like, a, a trustworthy person. What you mean by putting you What you mean by putting you down? Why they putting you down for? What they saying? What I, what I really mean by putting me down, like... She was talking like talking shit to me like like other customers be doing to me and everything. And I didn't expect that to come out of her and everything, you know. You expected from her you expected from everybody but her. 
but can you repeat that again? I said you 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 expect that from a, a lot of other people, but not from somebody who you consider a friend and shit. Right, right. Y'all fuck her. You feel me? And I don't like that she put you down, man. We'll ride at dawn over this bitch because see, you can't beat right, her up. Right. You can't beat her up because she a girl. I could beat her up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna start a service. Yeah. I'm finna start a service where I can cuss niggas out and whoop their ass. You feel me? For y'all, because y'all they ain't gonna be fucking yeah. with my peoples. Shit. Anyway, but don't let nobody put you down, even them funky ass customers. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I right. get it. I know we got we at a place where we gotta pay bills and we gotta do shit like that. But don't let nobody disrespect you. Don't let nobody put your ass down. Cause you a king. You hear me? The fuck wrong with these folks? Right. Now I got one more question because right. I'm getting pissed off. Um, if you okay. could teleport to the past or the future, where you going? I would. I would teleport to the future. To the future? Why are you going to the future? Uh, the reason why I'm going to the future because I just want to um, focus on like new stuff, like make new sure beginnings, like it's positive. New beginning, make sure it's positive. You yeah. Know? Man, I don't want nothing, no negativity, something like that. Got you. I like that, man. Thank you so much for calling in, family. And hey, listen, okay. call me back if I need to whoop that ass. I'll whoop her ass. I promise. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm five hours away from you, by the way. That's what's happening because we're meat, goddamn. You know, set up a whole plan. Yeah. Shit, fuck you mean. I'm in, I'm, in Memphis, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, you in Memphis? Right okay, now. yo, I know. That's why you talk like Glow Really because I was about to say something, but I was into the story <laughs> when you said the food. I said, nigga, Glow Low. Nigga, Glow. Thank you for calling, fam. <laughs> Hey, I'll whoop y'all ass. Don't be putting none of my family down. Fuck you mean. Yo, that's serious. Good morning, y'all. Uh, good morning, too. Good morning, boo. I love when I do that, that rhyming thing and shit. How you doing this morning? You woke up great? That's a, that's a start. How's it going so far? Um, so far, um, so far it's okay. Like, my, my daughter, she's not feeling too good. She might have strep throat. So oh. I had to keep her home from school today. Oh, yeah, I get that part. And when the children don't feel good, they just be, Mama, Mama, hey, hey, this dog, me, but, you know, they go, they so, and then they be extra dramatic, too, so I understand how it is. Do you got trust yeah, issues? She's, yeah, she, she's 15, so, like, you know, she, but she's still my baby, though. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> we get away with it still. Hey, listen, though, uh, you got trust issues? Yeah, I do. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I definitely do. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Say, it, say it with your whole chest. If you got it, you just, just be be proud about it. No, I'm just saying don't be proud about it. But listen, are you in a relationship right now? Even if I said I'm, I'm married. I've been married for eight years. So you you got married. Now, when you say you have trust issues, is it trust issues more with, like, family and friends? Or is it in general? Both. <laughs> <laughs> So, give me, give me, give me an example, and you don't got to say who it was from, because I know you're a married woman and shit. Um, but give me an example of a time that somebody really fucked up your trust, and it still sticks with you right now. Well, there was there was somebody that I was very very close to. Mm -hmm. Um. And I I looked up to this person very very much mm -hmm. very much and I, I and t to be honest he he deserves to be he deserves to be outed it was my uncle he tried to molest me when I was thirteen oh shit mm hmm it was your uncle he's still living well physically yes. But he's dead to me. <laughs> yeah, because I want to beat his ass, too. See, I got a whole list. I need to get a list of names today. I see. I want to whip his ass, too. Now, that, 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 I totally understand. Um, was this something that you kept to your chest? Nobody knows this? Is it I told my mom. I told my mom probably about almost a year ago. Because, like, when I was a kid, I didn't tell her. Because... Like, it was one of those situations where, like, I look at, like, that's her brother. Like, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. And, like, with, like, with my medical issues, like, I needed my mother. And I knew what my mother was capable of doing if I did tell her at that time. Yeah. So, I didn't say anything. But 
I don't know what it was, but I was talking to my mom almost a year ago, and something, something told me to tell her. And it's like, I, I remember what it was because she came to me and told me that it came out that he tried to molest one of my cousins. Mm. And that's when I told her and she was like, well, why didn't you tell me? And I told her why. And next thing I know, come to find out, the, <laughs> the police had been watching him for the last two years and they raided his house, found computer, found child porn and everything. I was like, wow. You know, your story, your story is, is, is so common sometimes because like we always, even as victims, I feel like we always want to protect. It's like as as women, sometimes we got this natural instinct to protect, even when we're hurt the most. Like you said, you know, what I mean, this man was hurting you and, and, and you didn't even though you were being hurt, you didn't want to hurt your mom. You know, what I'm saying by that type of news, because that being her brother. And I hate that we have this built inside of us to where we feel like this is a normalcy. It's not a normalcy. And, and, and sometimes what happens is you got to kind of look at on the flip side, the same way that you love your mother enough why you were in the middle of being hurt to not want to tell her that her brother was doing this her brother got to have that same feeling for her and be like you what now, I am not gonna touch my sister's daughter if you can't flip that around and see where the breakdown on why he don't deserve to be protected is that's it right there because if he had any type of care in the world for his sister that would have been the last thing on his fucking brain See, you was hurting, you was being hurt, and you still wanted to protect your mom. He was hurting you and still didn't care about protecting her. You see what the difference is? And that's why, man, I'm so happy you told his ass, and I swear to God, bro, ooh, ooh, I can't stand a motherfucker like that, bro. And I can understand why you have trust issues. Now, let me ask you something. You said your daughter, you got a daughter, um, she's staying home. Mm -hmm. is your, your trust issues is there, ain't it? Are you overprotective? Um, I'm overprotective with with her and with her boys, but and your boys, but especially, but, but especially her. Facts. Have you ever told your now, daughter what happened to you? Yeah, I told her. Okay, that's a great. I, I mean, her, and she and she was like, "Mama, you serious?" I was like, "Yeah." Nah, and you know what? I'm happy you had a conversation with her because it's not really more so of out in him. It's more so of her being comfortable to know if anybody close to her ever touched her, she has more of a comfortability coming to you to talk to you. Because see, a lot of the times, a lot of people who who's close that I've been reading, you know what I mean? Uh, people that's close to you, them be the hardest people to tell on. You feel me? And and that's why it's great, man. Damn, sis, I mean, you got so much resilience. I'm proud of you because you done broke the cycle. Um, you know what I mean? With, with your kids and things like that. I understand why you why you have trust issues. Like, did was it a problem with your husband though? Like he he knows, like he knows many of the things. Yeah. You know, many of the things that I that I've been through. Mm-hmm. And I find myself slipping into it every now and then, but like I don't love him any less. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I don't trust him. It's just, it's just that it was just so much, and it's like, and then the like the things that other people have done that has piled on top of that, mm -hmm. and then like more shit is piled on and piled on and piled on. It's just. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. And that's one of the reasons why, like, the last four months, like, I've been going to the gym. I'm like, I'm actually going to the gym today because my brain is, like, um, I'm, like, overwhelmed right now. <laughs> Yeah, the gym, the gym, the gym release endorphins. This, that's actually a great outlet. And guess what? At the end of the day, man, you're working on your body too, so it's like a win-win. Um, well, as far as as far as your 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 support system or whatever like that, who else do you have to talk to as an outlet? Like besides, you know, just your husband, because I know you have your husband. But sometimes we even need to be we need a vessel even outside of them. You know what I mean? So, do you have somebody who you talk to outside of that or no? Um. 
Yeah, I go to therapy. Go to therapy, just therapy only though. No friends that you feel comfortable talking to. No, because the one the one friend that I that I did have um, ever since this election happened, like her and I really don't talk because I found out that she voted for Trump. And she's a <laughs> fan. Yo, yo, this this is the election really fucked y'all friendship up. Because and the thing is, it's not it's not even that I cut her off. It's like it's like ever since it happened, like she got on Facebook and she was like, "Yeah, yeah, you know all this, you know, and da 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 da, you know, I'll do one, you know, is this gonna be better and this and this and that." And, and I'm sitting up there thinking to myself, if he deports your ass, then I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. Like, yeah. So I like don't call me, don't text me, don't do nothing. Nah, I want to say, um, I want to say thank you for calling in, sis, for real, for real. And 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 um, I don't, I don't think I even really got to ask you the question. But if you had to teleport to the past or the future, where you going? Honestly, I don't think I would want to go to my past. Yeah, I know, and I, I kind of felt, I kind of felt that I, I didn't really have to ask you, but I, I kind of felt that in a way as well. You feel me? But um, yeah, I want to say, I want to thank you. But, but go ahead. But as far as, as far as the past, if, if I had to go any part of the past, I would probably go about a year back because that was when I lost my grandmother. So you, you'll go back to have a time when you were her. Yeah. Got you. I want to just say, sis, thank you so much for being, you know, for calling and opening up. Like, people don't even understand. Sometimes it's hard just to talk to somebody who you trust. So when you can just call in and you can talk to people who you don't even know, you know what I'm saying? That just goes to show you, bro, that healing process is already starting. You feel me? Because you don't feel ashamed. You don't feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? You're just standing in your own truth. And I appreciate you for calling, sis. All right. Love you, sis. Talk to you later, too. Bye-bye, boo. Damn, she got my heart hurting. But I love that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we all we got, damn it. But my throat tight in a motherfucker right now. I ain't even gonna hold me. My shit tight. You know when it crack? Good morning, family. Good morning, Tootie Woo Woo. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just over here trying to hold this shit back. Bruh. Look, I said my ain't too much had some cutting last night. The way she jumping up off the walls and shit. I ain't had no cutting last night. Then how I am? You didn't see me yesterday? You right. Yeah. See, yesterday I was working hard. I was working hard so I couldn't really tap in like I needed to. But no, it's all good. Time on my hands. But, you know, shoot. I, I'm happy because, you know, sometimes we have to give you the energy to get yourself together. No, for real. No, listen. I, 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 I Like you got candy and shit. No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all be the fucking reason. For a lot of my f me feeling good, I'm not. I can't even explain it. But anyway, fuck all that. I ain't finna get emotional because my throat tight. Yeah, you finna ask me about these um, yeah, well, insecurities. No, no, Troy, you got trust issues. Yeah, you got trust issues. Trust issues. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I used to get well. I done got to the point now. See, I got. I had to find like who, who, who to be with when I met my husband. Yeah. Like, relationship wise, I got trust issues. Hell yeah, but I had to figure out that them the people I choose. I ain't got shit to do if the people I choose. Hey, you know what? So, Account accountability at its finest. Selectivity is everything. Yeah, because yeah. they all kind of got the same characteristics. So if I'm trying to work on myself, heal myself, get my shit together, I start reading books and meds, I'm like, damn, I got to get my shit in order. Because I'm trying to figure out why I'm a man to see broken ass people over here. Every, so no, this is, head, hold on, sir, hold on. Because everybody be confusing you with Danny. No, this is not Danny. This ain't Danny. Why doing me that? Because you, you, cause you were hurt, because you were hurt, y'all. No, no bullshit. You could, you could, you could actually pass for this nigga on the phone, bro. This shit be funny because both y'all go off, y'all don't breathe or nothing. This shit, y'all just be snapping. I be telling Danny all the time, breathe, girl. Goddamn, you done went off on that girl forty two minutes. You ain't took one breath. Queen C know who I am, cause she always get up on there. She wrote me to all them folks, like they be knowing my voice. Yeah, a lot of people know, but for people who don't know your voice, they think your ass was Danny, though, for real. But listen, so you said you got trust issues and shit. Give me an example. Of the last time somebody fucked your trust, whether it was friends or relationship. I well, I'm gonna take you back when I was in a serious relationship with a nigga, cause you know I'm gonna tell you we ain't stay together, we ain't serious. Yeah. You? But okay, so I was in a relationship with a dude. 
this shit. So it ain't even fun. It's funny that, but I want to be this ass last time. So we um we were staying together. The man had just started the post office. You know, that's a nice ass job to retire from. Yeah. Like, do your big one. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I already, I done cleaned up the man's resume and that. Like, you know, those, those folks don't know how to do no damn resume. They should be plain. It ain't so bad. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't got nothing on it. So I'm trying to clean it up. I'm like, yeah, bro, you gonna get this done. So we get his shit together. He goes and do the fucking interview shit, right? So you, you going into your training and shit. I guess you done met two a little bit. So why would you do that? Because you got somebody at the house. But see, this is what pisses me off. I'm understandable. Like, you done got to the point you had to transition. You, you brought your ass all the way from the city. And then you came over here around me on my side of town talking about, well, I'm, we going to move together. Because you, really, you got trust issues because I done moved my ass out of town. You could have bring you and your motherfucking bags and your car, garbage bag in the car. And uh, you think you're going to come move your ass in, but you know you got to do some work. So, you know, he got him a nice little job. He, um... Doing the training. Now, keep in mind, I'm working at home like a motherfucker. I'm working at home. So, I ain't got to do too much. Get fat as hell. And that shit pissed me off because I forgot, like, when you working at home, bro, if you don't work the fuck out, you can be big as a house. But it is what it is. So I still was pulling them. It is what it is. So, man, the dude ended up. I mean, <laughs> what happened? We had an account. That's where I fucked up at. We had a fucking joint account. Why the fuck I do that? We ain't even fucking married. I don't even know why we did that, but I'm thinking, like, responsibility-wise, we just gonna throw some money over here, and we just gonna keep these bills going. Like, we just gonna do what we gotta do. Okay, I'm thinking smart about the shit. So this motherfucker give me a card. Tell me, I'm like, yeah, you know, you get you something to eat, woo woo, this next. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going in the motherfucker, because this is both our accounts anyway. I go in that motherfucker, I see a hotel. What the fuck? So you already know. You just thought a motherfucking job, nigga. I'm already working. And I called the I called the hotel. I'm calling like me, this is my motherfucking husband. You know them goddamn foreigners, they don't give a fuck, they gonna tell all your business. You say, yeah, I'm so 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 wife and I want to see was he at this um location, like who um who was using my car? Cause you know, I'm like, damn, I think somebody don't heck that shit. I know this nigga ain't going to the hotel. So he was she was like, Yeah, um and she said the main name. I said, Can you repeat that name? Can you spell it for me? The lady said the man name repeated the sheet. I was like, so, of course, I did not already told him what I was doing. I was like, yeah, I think somebody used my car. You know, he got a hotel charge on here. He was like, I was like, don't worry about it. I'm going to check it out. So, this nigga going along with it. Dumb ass. So, I'm, I'm talking to the people, whatever. They was like, yeah, that's him. I said, I know you fucking lying. I was like, okay. I was like, thank you. Have a, you know, you have a nice day, ma'am. No problem. This now hangs up the fucking phone. I said, you already know what the fuck about to go now. I said, my ain't move. Just come to the house when you get done doing what you're doing. Because he, he was in his training and shit. So right there. You, you, called, you called him in the middle of the training? Hey, hey yeah. <laughs> bitch, you got to know. Your ass about to get him. You, like, it is what it is. I was like, you know what? I already know what's going on, bruh. Just come on to the house. The man came to the house like a little man. This shit ugly as hell. Now I think about it, I'm like, bruh, so you, you want to have this nigga on your team, bruh. The nigga's too weak. Okay, anyway. So the nigga comes to the house. I said, you know what? I want you to call that person you was with at the hotel. Talk to a normal. I want to see how y'all reaction is. Like, I don't even want you to make it seem like it's a, a, a female in front of you. Just talk to her. I just want to see how y'all conversation going. So he called a girl. Because, you know, he got to prove, you know, he, he already like, damn, I'm about to get put out. So I'm about to have it. I don't know. So he calls the girl, she on the phone, hey, what's up, da 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 And I was like, you know, they had a conversation. I said, all right, bro, now hang up, shit, fuck all these. Like, y'all doing too much, because she, she asking you questions, like, why you leave me on this, da 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 The man try to act like he went to the hotel, but he didn't do no boy, stop playing with me, bro. Swear to God, do not play with me. So, he swear to God, he, he didn't even hit the girl, he doing, he might, he was like, man, I feel bad, I feel bad, I look. First of all, you shouldn't even want to get with nobody anyway. He just got a new job, which means that your money was already at a minimal. You shouldn't even be spending on no Facts. female. Facts. You ain't even put in the pot yet. You, you ain't put in the pot yet to be trying to take out the pot. You're doing too much. You just trying to get you a little note, but see, you don't know. I'm smart as hell. I get I get to doing real research. I don't play this shit. Stop playing with me, bro. So, I we we go from that part. And so the man was like, he was like, bro, I swear to God. He was like, I, I swear, you know, I you know, I, I live for long, I live for long. I don't care about none of that, bro. You brought your ass all the way down here and did that bullshit, bro. It's time for you to roll. I made sure, baby, I blew up my little air mattress. I slept on that bitch. I made him I made him feel like he was uncomfortable in my shit, man. Because now I don't even want to let a bed with you. You had to be. 
I'm finna go lay my little air mattress out. I'm finna watch me some TV. Do I do it? He got so uncomfortable. He went ahead and found him somewhere else to go. Which that's cool. That's fine. Cause baby, I don't even trust your ass no more. So that's when my trust issues came in. Cause bitch, you got me fucked up. Don't ever in your life think that a little nut was gonna get your ass in this motherfucking house. Don't play with me. So, yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I can listen to your ass tell a story <laughs> all day. Cause Shawty, you be first of all, bro. bro first of all, bro, you the goddamn you a roast yourself, roast this nigga, come back, apologize to yourself, oh, repent and go on the shit. Hey, listen, last thing though, <laughs> if you if you could teleport to the past or the future, where you going? Now I'm going straight to the preacher because I keep having dreams about some money. I feel like God got a pot waiting on me somewhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the preacher. Come tell see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, girl. Bye, I love y'all too. Bye. <laughs> Shawty, she cracks me up so bad, bro. I swear to God, dog. Hey, trust issues. Um, uh, I'm more so. Uh, I did. I did used to have a trust. I did used to have a trust issues. Uh, relationship wise, but you know, as I grew up, I understood that part. Um, I never really been one of them type of jealous type of. I never had issues on that end. Um, my, my, my trust issues definitely stemming more from friendships. Um, I think with me, I'm very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, how do you say this? Um, I'm, a, I'm a very acquired person. Um, and it's sometimes hard to meet other people like me. You know what I'm saying? Um, because sometimes I feel like, um, I feel like the way my personality is set up. It can make it, it probably have a tendency to make one feel as if I don't care as much as I do. If that makes any sense, I'm gonna try to break it down to where you can understand it. Um, I know I've had a lot of friends tell me, "All right, first of all, I'm not a I'm, I'm not I'm not a phone person." <laughs> Let's start there. I'm not a phone person. I feel like whoever invented the text was the greatest person in the world because it allows me to communicate, but I don't got to talk. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. You know what I mean? And I think because I do social media, the last thing I want to do when I'm off social media is talk. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's a mind thing. But my whole thing is I'm one of them type of people to where I probably don't check in constantly. And I know that. Me not being the like a femme, femme girl, that probably contributes to it. But I don't feel like I got to We got to talk every day. I don't feel like we got to talk every day. <laughs> hey, that's just my problem. Like, I just be feeling like, shawty, like, we don't got to do that all the time. Shawty, like, it's just certain things that I feel like if we friends, I know already. So it's like I don't got to just sit on the phone with you for mad long. And sometimes people look at that as if I don't give a fuck because I ain't calling and I don't do things like this. And I done had numerous people tell me that, you know what I'm saying, in friendships. But then I can meet people. I can, I can look up and I meet a nigga that's just like me. It's like, bro, you know I love you. You, you call me and you want to do something, we can do it. I just don't want to be on the phone all the time. If I go a week or two without seeing you. That don't mean I don't love you. That just mean I'm over here in my own shit, bro. Like, it don't got nothing to do with nothing. We can plan some shit. But that don't mean I don't give a fuck about you. That's just me, shot. And I just, I think, I think with me, people be like, damn, you don't love me. Or some shit. And it don't be that. Like, sometimes, bro, I swear to God, I would be dead ass at the crib. <laughs> Doing absolutely nothing But what I want to do I might just be in my drawers You feel me Watching me good times And this is the thing The things that I do is not big <laughs> I just want to shut up I just want to be over here in my own bubble I don't want to talk to nobody You feel me So my thing is A lot of my friends feel like I don't love them You know what I'm saying you know, um, like a lot of times Now it's now red and little bit They share, they share the same Quali characteristics as me Swear to God Bro My birthday had came This is a true life story My birthday was in September Like the September 15th Right I hadn't seen Red in them for almost a whole month But they popped up And we didn't even know they was coming And I ain't even really share this with a lot of people But they popped up out of the blue You know what I'm saying Bella going through her shit And they brought us these big ass bags just thank you gifts because you know even in the midst of us not talking like that if some shit happened like little bit gotta have surgery i'll be there 
If Bella got to have surgery, oh, they're there. But we don't got to talk every day. <laughs> and I love that for them. And I love them for me. Because I feel like that's just not something that I got to do. Is this just me? That's me, Nurse RN. I'm, you see, okay, Virgos, are we all like this? I don't want to talk every day. That don't mean that Miss Red. Miss Red, she is the most God-fearing woman on probably that I one of the people that I know. I love her. She loved me. You know how I know? For my birthday, she cooked all day. I hadn't talked to Miss Reds a month before my birthday, but she was still there. <laughs> so it's just certain shit that I get. It, I don't feel like we got to continue to revisit. I'm just like that, dog. I don't like to do none of that shit. You feel me? And then it works out great because Bella's the same way. Bella would drift off and be crocheting. I'd be in my room. I'd be painting. I, I just don't want all that But because of that You know what I'm saying Or whatever A lot of people be like Too You're not a good friend And I'm really trying to do better at it You know what I'm saying I really be trying Like especially when it's people That I care about Who needs that I try to pick up the phone more And I just try to You know I just really try to do better But it really don't have Nothing to do with nothing else Y'all I just I, I'm a people's person But I don't like nobody that, I, That's the best way That I can explain Fuck wrong with you, bro. Hello. Hello. What's happening? What's happening, Fanny? What's happening? I just sparked my little bleezy. Hey, let me do it with you. Let me do it. Let me do that with you. So listen, you yeah, got. Let's yeah, let's spark up. Let's spark up real quick. Hey, you spark now? So, cause I'm finna take my pool. Spark. Take your pool when I'm you. Spark. All right, take your pool. Take your pool with me. Take your pool with me. Yeah. Yeah, we get the we get the dope. Yeah, that's that good. So listen, you got yeah, trust issues. Right yeah, that's 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 that one. You got trust issues. Yeah, I got trust. I got trust issues on all sides. When you say all sides, you mean family, relationship, and friendship. All sides. Yeah. Damn. So you got the trifecta. So the fuck. How do you love people? Do you? <laughs> Yo, who you talk to, fam? <laughs> I mean, like I have, I have friends and stuff like that, but like I don't, I don't give my hundred percent trust to nobody. Got you. You long handle spoon people, right? Okay. Right. Yeah, I've had too many people do me dirty on all sides, so it's like I'd be afraid to get close to people because people. Know that the type of person that I am. So to know the type of person that I am, it's like I be getting used and abused. Like, give me an example of something that a person, how a person did you dirty. Give me an example. Okay, so boom. Okay, so you want like friend relationship, like what type, what like? Should just choose any one because I mean they all fucking you over. So just pick one. Okay. Um. So, boom, I had a homegirl or whatever. We will just do this one. I had a homegirl or whatever. Okay. And um, she sent me, like, this long, soft story, you know, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, she needed some money. And, you know, the type of person that I am, I don't know. I don't know. I tell you, though, like, I, I'm, a, I'm a, like, I'm not, like, God dang. Like, but I'm going to help somebody. Like, regardless if I have it or not, like, if I, if I, if I fuck with you, like, if I see you as a friend, as a, you know, I'm going to help you because all money returns. That's Facts. what I was going to say. Facts. All money returns. So I don't, I don't, I don't keep my money. Like, I, I'll, I'll give, 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 or do whatever because at the end of the day, it, it always comes back. So I don't stress or worry about money. That's what I was meaning to say. So I gave her the money or whatever. She's like, oh, I got you back on Friday. It's, all, it's always Friday. It's always Friday. So Friday come, I don't say nothing because I, I don't expect no money back. If I give it to you, it's already lost. Yeah. So, boom, I had something happen that was unexpected. Facts. And I was like, homegirl, do owe me $85 from like two weeks ago. <laughs> so, I'm like, let me see if she got it. Because now I'm in a bind, man. And yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I, I, I'm like, Hold on, time out. Time the fuck out. Did you just say you in a bind, Nate? I'm in a bind, Nate. <laughs> and I need them little toe toes back. No thanks. Now, listen. You were you was in a bind, I was done. So you know, homegirl, I'm in the bind. Don't don't worry my money back. Cause I already feel like I'm hurt. You should have made that less low. Child, ask if I got my money. You still ain't got it. 
No, she blocked. Yeah, that type of shit. And you know, here's the thing. Just don't say nothing. You know what I mean? Because I feel like if you don't say nothing, it makes it a lot better. Don't say, I got you on Friday. Just say, man, I'm going to get it right back to you as soon right, as I can. Because I that be the don't thing is, because don't me. don't have me expecting it. Because, see, it's nothing worse than me to have to call and check on you. And that's aggravating to me. Because oh, I, mean, I feel like a bail. I f- yeah, I feel like a Dale, um Bell's bond because I call you. I don't give a fuck if it's $10. See, at this point, it's about the principle. It ain't that I need the $10 no more. It's just the fact that you said, you know what I mean, on this you day, you was going to, you, you had me. So now I need to know what's up because now it's Saturday. The fuck you mean? No, you know what I mean? No, I need now, that. Now it's two weeks. Now it's two weeks from now. So now there's interest. Because <laughs> I'm now the type of nigga. On top of that. Yeah, because I remember back in the day, man, I did. I loaned, I loaned some money to a friend, and I this was the time when niggas was waiting on their checks to come to the mailbox and shit. And, I mean, you should have told me that you was goddamn going to pay me back. Because now I'm meeting the mailman at your mailbox. Because, nigga, you said it's coming, so we're going to see. We gonna check it together. I'm out there with you. No, is it in there? Is it in there? I just need to know. Is it in there? Man, you don't got to have me like that. Just tell me just to tell me the truth. Because I'll meet the mailman. I know, I know when all of them run. Fuck that. Exactly. That's how I feel. Like, Shit. If you don't, if you don't tell me no date, we good. We good. I ain't got no expectation good. for it. You feel but me? If you do tell me a date, we're good. It's just if my money don't come on that date, you're blocked. You're blocked. <laughs> well, I'm gonna hit you up and ask you. And if you don't run me my point, you're blocked. You're blocked. And it'd be the same people that will text you be like. I don't wanna, I don't wanna burn a bridge with you. Get me burning that motherfucker line. I feel you. Now listen, before we get off the phone, we gotta ask one question. Are you teleporting to the past or the future? Ooh, I just got hot. Ooh, child, see? See? <laughs> Take that plug. Look, pull I'm it. I'm not gonna ask for that money again. So listen. Anyway. If you had to teleport to the past, are you teleporting to the past or the future if you could? The future. The future. All right, man. Thank you, family. <laughs> Thank you, family. Yeah, she said block. YouTube, poo. Hey, y'all some funny ass folk, man. That's all I can say. Hey, listen, y'all some fucking funny ass folks. I swear to God. Shawty said you got them uh, blocked. Blockity block. Hey, if you at work, put blue hearts in the chat. I need to know if you at work right now. Put blue hearts in the chat. What is this? Hey, uh, this is your friend right here. This Who? is Sophia. Who? This is Sophia, too. This is Sophia. Have you won lunch before? What did you say, I said, did you win lunch before? Oh, I'm not calling for the meal. That's what it's for. The, the people who was calling out were supposed to be for the meal. But what you got? You got to tell me uh, what you got. You got trust issues? Dude, every time I call, I call and I get on the meal. You always hit right on the lunchtime shit. <laughs> hey, but anyway, listen, why you here? You got trust issues? Yes, this is my second, third time getting called and uh, I call and I get the meal thing. But no, I was calling because uh, uh, the subject was about people not paying you back or something like that. Well, that's not the subject. It's just not trusting people. But who ain't, who owe you? <laughs> Who? I, I've had this friend that's been owing me some money. It's not no chump change, it's some money. Mm-hmm. And I've been real patient because, you know, stuff come up. But this is what gets me when I see you always out or you cash after big money to other people and you could be paying me back. And then it's always when you notice um, I'm there or something like that. It's like I'm gonna call you. We need to talk. Uh, I'm gonna get you. I ain't forgot. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, I just got stuff going on. Well, we all got stuff going on. And that's a Fendi fact. That's a fucking Fendi yeah, fact. But I'm one of those. I don't say anything, and I don't trip. I'm just like you know, you, you know, just do what you gotta do, whatever. But I've always been told it'll be another time that they'll need it, mm-hmm. but it can't come my way. And I was always told when I was growing up, don't ever loan out more 
than you have, than you can afford. Facts. That's what my grandmother used to tell me. Don't loan, don't loan out anything that's going to have you stifled. If you know it's going to have you fucked up, then don't loan it. Because if you got to need exactly. something back, nine times out of ten, you are not going you're not gonna to get it. And you're already looking exactly. for it, so don't do Yeah, hell yeah. But, um... Mm-hmm. But I, I, people like that, I, I just, it just makes me... And I'm kind of glad that, you know, people like, you know, that I have had people to come in my life because it made my circle real, real small. And I know who are my friends and the people that I can really count on and I can give that back to them. I can give you what I know I'm going to get from you, you know, mm-hmm. and not just somebody always around for what they know that they can get from you. If you if you if you had a chance to teleport to the past or the future, where are you going? To the future. To the future and why? I, it's just so much that. I don't, it's just so much that you could do. And I would want to go to the past, too. No, you can't do two of them. You can't cheat. You said you said your ass in the future. So you already, you know, you just gone. You gone. Bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't go back now and renege. It don't work like that. Hey, thank you so much for calling in, sir. <laughs> Trying to renege. You can't renege. Hey, listen, I still need somebody to call in for the lunch. You feel what I'm saying? Hit me up right now. I'm trying to get me a lunch winner. Yeah, feel me? Hello? 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 Who is it? Going for lunch. Who is this? This is your What's up? You got the you show? Is you at work right now? You get what? I said you at work right now? Yeah, I'm at work watching you, just having fun. I talked in this morning. I came. I said, oh, look at Toot. She's live. Hey, I just love the way you say Toot. I'm finna definitely see you lunch. Say it again. Say, let me just check out and look at Toot. Say it again. Let me, let me just check out and look at old Toot. Yeah, yeah, I like that shit. Oh, Toot, oh, toot booty. <laughs> hey, yo, listen. Check this out, bro. Um, I need your cash out. You need my cash out? Yep, I need your cash out. All right. I'm going to take you my cash up because I got your number. This Jay Long, nigga, I got you. Boy. Man, what the fuck? Man, Jay, man, why the What's fuck is you do? Man, why are you playing like that and What's shit? With- word, man, listen, you get on my goddamn nerve, bro. Why are you, why you wasting it? <laughs> Jay Long, I've been telling them that we supposed to be doing an episode together, but it just been the, the schedules. Tell them that I ain't lying to them. Yeah, we ain't lying, man. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, we just been... I- I, I'm trying to get because I ain't been lying. That's all it is. Man, you get on my nerve. You done wasted. I'm trying to give a nigga lunch, Jay Long. Why the fuck you playing this shit? I should have known when that was the two hey, part, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, take it. Take it. I'm, I'm going to send you some more, some more money so you can give away two lunches, okay? Hey, that's what's up. We giving away two lunches then. Shout out to the, shout out to FOE, boy. Yeah, feel me? Yes, yeah, you should do that. Thank you, family. Drip said family. I love y'all. We're going to be tuning in real soon, too. We got to talk about this. Uh, let me know when you off. All right, I bet, 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 bet. I'll do it today. I got you. All right, bet. Listen, can somebody for real call me to get the damn lunch? I'm getting sick of it now. I'm trying. Don't nobody. We're giving away two lunches. So, hey, you hit it up. Hit it up. Hit it up right now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. What it do, family? Who this is? Ray. Who is this? Ray. Hey, so listen, you at work? Yes. Where you working? You sound like you sneaking too. You sneaking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need you. I need you to put your. I need you to put your cash. I need your cash up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need your cash up now. Hold on. 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 I gotta get to my notes because I'll be a. I've been a fucked it up. Let me see. Where my notes at? I got to give one more, too. See, he he hooked it up. All right, so what's your cash at? It's just simply Ray with two E's. Okay, now, can you can you put it in the chat? Like, which, where you at? You on, you on YouTube or Twitch? I'm on YouTube today. Okay, you on YouTube today. Put it in the, put it in the, put it in the chat right now. Because I, I can't just simply Ray. I got you right there. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Hold on. And then we got to get one more. So we finna send you lunch right now. Just, uh, and I got you. Um, and then I got to get this last person right now. So it's going to come to you in about two seconds, okay? As soon as you get it, just put, uh, put, put, I got it too in the chat. Okay, thank you. No problem, sir. Let's get it. Let's see who this is. What it do, family? 
Hey, Pooh. Who is this? I can tell. I can, listen, you don't even got to tell me you at work. I know you at work because I can hear you in the bathroom. You done snuck off. You can't be doing I'm shit like that at the people's job. At my computer, you can hear my emails. I'm not in the bathroom. Oh, because it sounds like you, but well, your shit, you got that clarity where you at and shit, sir. Hey, listen, I need you to put, I need you to do the same thing. Um, If you can, if you could okay. just put your. Um, i put it, I'm on, I'm on Twitch, so I'm going to put my cash app in the, in the Twitch. Put it in the twitchy right now. And it's gonna come to you as soon as you get it. Just put, you know what I'm saying? Just put uh I got that shit and you too. Know this this Miss Millions, my mom Stacy says hi. Hi, Miss Millions. And hey mama. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, that say shout out to Joe Long. Say shout out to FOE. You know what I'm saying? He was a person to, uh, provided with another lunch today, so everybody hey, was able to get lunches. To so shout out to that boy J Long, bro. Yiddy, yiddy. Hey, I'm about to order my lunches. So did you send it? And it's gonna come to you right now. You know what I'm saying or whatever. So um, I got yours. I got just I got just simply Ray. And you said you was on Twitchy, right? Let's see where yeah, you at on Twitchy. All right, let me see. You can put that in the chat. Let's I didn't see. Put it in the chat yet, huh? Well, hold on. Get off the phone and hurry up and do it. All right. All right, bye. Call me back. <laughs> hey, listen, put this shit in the chat real quick and just let me know whenever you get it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever like that. Um, And let me know. Hey, shout out to FOE. Shout out to Jay Long. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Uh, a big, big blessings. Two people can eat today. You feel me? I like it. I love it. Hey, man, y'all stay tuned. I be trying to tell y'all for real, for real, man. This this what I got in my brain with this show is going to get a lot better, a lot bigger, a lot greater later. Just hang in there with me, man. Let's just have a good time while we do it. Hey, man, it is the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show. Hold on. Uh, We'll be right back, y'all. We are talking trust issues. Do you got them? Have they ever fucked up your relationship? I need to know. Um, Let me know right now. Um, let me ask you. Let me see. Let me see. If you got it, did you get your? Did you get? Did, did y'all get the shit? Did you send it off? Did this? Everybody got it. Did you get your? Did you get your bread? What? 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 Shout it at. Let me see. Let me go back to the most high stream. What was shout it name? I think it was uh, just simply Ray. You got it. Okay, Ray. You good? You miss million? You got it. Yep. You good? I right, appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to y'all for the lunches. You know what I'm saying? Or shout out to the winner of the lunches. Shout out to uh, J Long, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, you know what I mean, with the free lunch, you did eat while you at work. However, we are still having a great, great conversation, and the conversation is just this, is do you have trust issues? It's that simple. You feel me? A lot of y'all don't want to admit that you got them, but you got them probably. You know what I'm saying? And I want to know if you do. That's why you need to call me right now, 678 <laughs> <laughs> and let me know do you got trust issues it could be from your man it could be from family it can be from friends you know what i'm saying we had a number of things we had one person said that everybody didn't fucked her over so she got trust issues from everything friends family and significant others now we got more people saying that they have more uh trust issues when it comes down to friends which one are you i want to know hit me up right this second what it do family hey too. what's up bookie it's Aries. What's up? I know who your voice is. I got your voice. I just know how you say, hey, dude. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got trust issues? Yes. Severe? Like major? On a scale of one to ten? Severe. What are you? It's severe. It's severe? Um, so, yeah. what is the reason for your trust issues? Uh, my trust issues stems from my parents. Ooh, now this is different. Okay. So, you say trust issues from your parents. Explain. Okay, my mom. I was raised by my dad. Okay. Okay. Um, my dad didn't come around until I was sixteen. He would lie and say, "Pick me up," and all that other stuff. Okay. And never showed up. He was one of those kind of dads, having right. a whole bunch of kids, not taking care of them. Gotcha. My mom just li she just used to get me a lie about you know picking me up or sending me home early so she can go to the club and. Be in the streets, and she just didn't want to be a mom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, gotcha. it just made me not trust people because I loved them so much when I was younger. Mm -hmm. It made me just look at people differently. I've always been able to cut people off so quickly. Yeah. Um, my best friend, she's a Virgo, and she's like, I don't know how you're able to do that. Yeah, I, said, I, mean I don't know either, but 
Yeah, yeah cut them off. That's how it is. I'll be I'll be wondering that with my sister. You know what I'm saying? Because my sister's a Capricorn, so she has minimum patience for anything. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And it's like sometimes I'll be like, "Why the fuck you so mean, bro?" Like I, I it's like yeah. we are we at opposite ends of the spectrum, but we love the same. See, that's the difference yeah. of it. It's like when yeah. she loves, it's 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 powerful. Back the fuck up. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, because I love hard. Yeah, and I don't want. To, I know I love hard, and I'll do anything for anybody. And I have been taken advantage of so many times because mm -hmm. I have a kind heart mm -hmm. that I had to shut it off. Like, I couldn't be that way. Like, friends, I've lost friends, I've lost family members, um, siblings, all of that. Like, it, like, and I'm to myself mostly because of that. Gosh. Now, I do have my best friend and my sister that I talk to, like, every other day or sometimes after the week. But other than that, I'm to myself with my kids. And I'm very overprotective of them because of what I've been. Do you think? Do you think those trust issues with your parents affected your relationships? Like, um, are you yes. in a relationship now? Yeah, I'm talking to somebody. And do you? I'm some very cautious. Yeah. We're going like snail slow. Like he hasn't <laughs> met my kids. We've been talking for like nine months. Um, we see each other. I go to his house. He comes to my house, and we do we don't have our kids. Or, you know, our kids are not around each other. They don't know each other. Mm -hmm. And we just go real slow. We're just taking it, you know, day to day. Because he's been through stuff. I've been through stuff. And I'm glad he uh, he communicates. You know, like when he's not in a good mood, you know, he'll speak to me. I give him his face and he gives me my food. We don't crowd over each other, you know? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like that's, I feel like it's good that, that you are taking the snail slow. And the reason mm -hmm. why is because especially when you have children and stuff involved, I feel like it's very, it's hard sometimes to be able to like decipher, you know what I'm saying, who the person yeah. is going to be in the future. See, everybody pretend in the beginning. You put on your mm -hmm. best, you put on your best behavior, you put your best foot forward. Yeah. You're never going to really see that true person until time tells it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. I think it's really good that you're going snail slow. Now, let me ask you something. Now, you also said that I know that the parent thing probably could have affected your your relationships. What about friendships? Yes. That too? Because I didn't see them be good friends to other people. Um, I seen how my mom's friends, all they wanted to do was drink and party. They wasn't like motivating her to be a better person or be a mother. Like they, all they wanted to do was be in the street too. Yeah. So it made me look at people like, I have to like bet you to be my friend like i have to make sure we're on the same wave me on the same page because i i don't communicate all the time with my friends like my friends know i go through a lot of stuff so they give me my space well my friend like i said i really only have one friend but she knows that so when i meet other people i i don't try to be friends with them because i don't know if they can handle it because i'm not talking to you all the time i might check up with you maybe once every two weeks you never know. Fact. You do the pins. Gotcha. That's a great perspective. And I need to know if you had if you had a chance to teleport to the past or the future, where are you going? Future. Going to the future. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Love you too. Bye. Love you back. <laughs> Love you too. Hey, you know the thing about it is everybody was saying they go to the future. I, I I'm not going to the future. I I, I want to go beyond my past. I want to go back to where there was like basement parties and shit like that i want to see it at a time where things were just some might look at it as being bad but i feel like it might have been sometimes the best time of our era it's when like things was just freer you know what i mean things wasn't so tight tight when you think about like how things are now i'm, I'm afraid of how the future may look I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I, I used to be one of those type of people who was very excited about the future. You feel me? Um, I'm not saying that I don't have goals that I still want to reach, but I'm just not as excited. When I look at how this world is now, right, um, I'm not really excited where it's headed. And I'm just keeping that shit a stack with you. Um, friendships is not the same. Uh, people don't love the same. 
The, the idea of what relationships used to stand for is different. You know what I'm saying? Love is different. The way people view marriage is different. The way people view each other is different. You got motherfucking black men hating black women. I want to go back to the time where black men used to love black women. I want to go back to them basement parties, nigga. I want to go back when niggas was just fucking and, and, and having children and everything was good. I want to go back to when motherfuckers was skating. I want to go back to when niggas was having a good ass time. I'm not looking forward to the future that's just me i'm just keeping it a stack with you i thought about it um yeah the future is not where i want to be <laughs> you feel me and yes there has been some trying times in the past granted you know what i'm saying but there's gonna be trying times all the time so i'd rather go back to a time when it was pure when music felt good when niggas want got down wanted to go to the mall to rush to get a record you feel me? I want to go back there. Take me back there. This shit that we going to, I don't want no parts of it. Niggas can't stand each other now. And I hate that for us. I hate that for us all. I have never in my life seen it that we'll ever get to a place where black men and black women would, would just beef so much. It's a goddamn competition and it's sickening. You feel me? So yeah, take me back to afros and roller skates when motherfuckers out there used to ride their bikes to go see their girlfriends and shit. You know what I mean? In the cold. Where the shit meant something. You feel me? That's what I want to go back to. That's what I want to go back to that type of shit. The future, you know what I mean? It looks pretty motherfucking bleak. Back in the day, man, he was like, ain't no place he'd rather be with you. Now that he like, bitch, get out, catch an Uber. It ain't no love no more. Life imitates art. <laughs> you feel me? This nigga said, ain't no place I'd rather be. He used to not want to be with his homies. See? It's a difference. Listen. I had this thing where a person said to me, they said, too, why do you think love is different? Love is different because man and woman has changed. We have transcended over time. It's a proven fact. Love is different because people don't appreciate love. People don't appreciate relationships. And the reason is back in the day, men did love their women. So that's why I was always that forever mine. He's doing all that. Now man is changed. It's just the way that it is. Now it's straight to it. When we, when it's a different lingo now. It's no making love no more. It's like I want to fuck you, Shawty. It's, it's that simple. Man is different. So this is what we get. <laughs> I fuck with Tanga Love. I, I, this is one of the ones. However, I'm just showing you that the lingo is changed. You've seen it. You've seen it go like, you've seen it go downhill. From men really loving, serenading their women to where now it's just like, I want to fuck. It's just a different type of man. So we get different type of songs. We've seen it. We've seen it happen. You feel me? It just goes over. It's just a different type of shit. Yeah, people, yeah, people, people don't, people don't believe in intimacy anymore or courtship because they feel is that that's weak men men look at that men consider men to be simps that do that when i feel like that's definitions of being a real man when you can really be able to uh woo your shorty i ain't never seen no shit like this before so yeah i'm the, i'm probably the main one that's going to the past past me i think i'm the only person that said the past so far right it's okay. I don't mind being a loner. Hit me up. 678-235-4338. We're talking about, do you have trust issues? You got them? Who gave them to you? I want to know, why do you got trust issues? You right, me and my friends just was talking about this. Men don't even, man, they on court. Hey, man, it was a, it was a post um, I seen on the shade room. And it was like, men, give me a definition of how you courted your woman. Men don't even know what court means. <laughs> They don't know what court means. I seen one man say I slid in her DMs. I said, nigga, what? <laughs> so I, I, I feel bad for the future women. Shit, fuck you mean. Good morning, family. <laughs> What's happening, family? Not much. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. And yourself? I'm all right. I could be better, but I can't complain. I, uh, yeah, you sound just like me. Why Why you think you can be better? What can make it better? Um, Just if, like, everything in my life would just fall in place like it's supposed to. 
It will. It will. Um, I, I, I know I know where you at, though, because that's how I feel. I get mad at myself and very discouraged often because of that. Hang in there. I'm telling you. Definitely. Is that is that the reason why you got trust issues? Yes. My baby daddy gave me real bad trust issues, though. Why? Was he a cheater? He was a cheater. He was a liar. He played both sides. When you um, say play both sides, what do you mean? Like... He had a so when I was pregnant with my oldest, he had got another girl pregnant, right? Mm hmm. And I mean, he told me about it, so I was thankful for that. But at the same time, it's like you tried to make it seem like you weren't messing around with her so that you can come try to be a family with me. Okay. Right? And come to find out, he moved this bitch in the same apartment building as me. Okay, are you lived up, I lived on the first floor. Okay, you know, I, I got to say this one thing because I think you said your oldest child, this was your oldest child, so after all of this happened, you gave him another baby? Yeah, I was young and dumb. Okay, no, no, that ain't, I mean, it's just life lessons. Keep going. I want to know. Keep going. So yeah, she, she, you downstairs, she upstairs. Yep, yeah, and then, like, it was just, it was just a whole bunch of like wishy washiness. Like he would pillow talk to me and I would believe it. So after after a certain point in time after my youngest was born, I finally started to see it for what it was. Mm -hmm. Now that kind of has me having trust issues with any man that I come across. Mm -hmm. And that's also a huge part of the reason why I'm single right now because I can't trust words anymore like th people have to put actions behind anything if they want to fuck with me i feel that and i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you just some some advice from me because i i dealt with things um it's it's, it's not the it's, it's not the men that you got a problem with right now it's you okay because it was times that you knew what it was but you wanted that idea of family so bad so where you just was it was easy for you to bleed that nigga it's a man out there that's going to do you correctly. But see, it's not that other man right now. It's you. It's because it was too many times. Like, nigga, it ain't nothing that nigga should have been able to pillow talk to you when the motherfucking girl was upstairs. It just don't make sense. It don't add up. You feel me? Let it go. Because, right. see, you don't want God to block your blessings. It could be somebody that's trying to come in there. But see, it's you at this point. You knew that you goddamn shouldn't have trusted certain shit and you allowed it. So once that you come to terms and say, look, half of this shit I'm responsible for. Because he showed me who he was with the first child. You feel me? He told me again. He showed me who he was again when he got somebody else pregnant outside of our relationship. You feel me? He showed me again when he moved a motherfucker where I lay my head at. It just goes to show you he had no respect. So it's just about who you allow to trust. So it's like it ain't the dudes this time. It's you. So we got to take accountability too as women. We can't blame these men for everything because they're going to do what they're going to do. You feel me? But we don't got to tolerate it. And that's just that. You feel me? But no, nah, they coming. Pray on it. And trust me, you got somebody. He, he's setting them up right now. You just got to be ready for it. Don't let that trust also, shit block you. I told everybody else. But I'm 17 days sober. Hey, 17 days in this bitch, boy. How you feeling? Hey, do you got your taste buds and all that shit back? Yeah. Food be tasting better? Yep, definitely. So, do you have times when I wake up in the morning? Yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful too, sis, because you'll blow up. So you gotta make sure you exercise and shit. For sure. You gotta make sure you do that because nigga, that's that's the first thing that happened when I stop smoking and drinking like that. I blow up like shit. So let me ask you something. Do you have your days though where you be like, yo, I, I you know, what I'm saying I'm praying harder. I'm. Do you have your days that you still be pushing through and shit? Yeah. Yeah. Keep fighting. You doing yeah. good. I feel like I feel like everything that goes on in my life right now, I feel like I need a drink, but I say no every time. Yeah, that's good. And then see, this was going to happen. You're going to get more tests now than ever. Keep that shit up, though, family. I'm proud of you. 17 days. Let's make it 30. Facts. Facts. I bet. Hey, so if you could teleport anywhere, right. where you going to the past or the future? Um, I would say to the past because I feel like there is more that I could have learned from 
certain situations that I went through. Got you. That's a good. That's a good one. You're kind of rewrite. You're rewrite it a little bit. I feel that. That's lit. Yeah. All right. Thank you for calling in, family. Yeah. Okay. All right. Love. Love you back, family. Hey, man. This is this this is things that I like, man. Seventeen days sober. People don't understand. Shot it like every day is a, is an issue. You feel me? Every day is a step. And I appreciate it. You did. Hey, man, I love having these conversations with you guys, bro. And I'm going to introduce a lot more stuff. Just hang in there with me, man. I just got to make sure that it's going to be presented right and things like that. And that's it. You feel me? I just want everybody to be great, y'all. We are heading into some times. You feel what I'm saying? Where it, get, it might get a little bit heavy. I know there's a lot of people out there who might not have family. And the holidays sometimes is the worst time for us. Listen, if you don't have family, you find yourself feeling some type of way, just tap in with us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because some of us don't have family. So we all we got sometimes, all right? When y'all going out shopping for the holidays, please, please, please have your awareness on, okay? Don't be getting caught up on your phones i'm gonna say this shit all holiday because it is getting serious out here niggas out here running rampant y'all all right and they doing some crazy shit to try to follow you back to your cribs and stuff like that when you coming out them stores just tell your home girl you'll call her back when you get in the car be alert watch what's going on you know what i'm saying keep your pocketbook zipped up they slipping all types of shit in your pocketbook by the time you get home and find out what the fuck going on you know what i'm saying they already at your house all right so I want you guys to make sure that uh, seasonal depression, just like 89 was just saying, is real. So y'all, come on, we're just take it easy. You feel what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to say something if you got to. God damn it, it's hard. You feel me? I love all y'all and shit like this. I wanted to look sometimes um, shit gets, let me see, shit gets hectic, but keep your joggers on. That's for real, for real. Let me see, open your eyes every day is a blessing to me. That's right, life will take. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, y'all, some days, boy, it's hard for me too. But we wake up and somebody somewhere else did not. So for that alone, Shawty, we got to be thankful for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm, I'm like that too, 89. Um, the holidays, I'm trying to make it. I didn't want to really do none of this shit, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm trying to just will myself. And honestly speaking, I think by, I'm, by when I started, it got my sister want to do it. So I think this might be a good thing. Um, sometimes when you don't have family, it, it does make things a little tight, tight. I don't, I especially don't like it. My grandmother used to throw down every Thanksgiving and ain't nobody food like hers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it just ain't. So that be where me and my sister is at. Cause at first we wanted to kind of like, we wanted to, we wanted to goddamn go somewhere else. We was talking about going to the beach at first, but now we talking about doing a little something or whatever, but the holidays be a little bit hard. It'd be a little bit difficult, but you know what y'all, we got to stop. We got to, we got to re, we got to redo this. If we know that we if we know that holidays is hard for us, then we gonna have to start trying to like plan some shit, like a like a a friend give us a friends give miss is that it? how you say it? You know what I'm saying? A friend miss thing, or whatever for us to get together or some shit because we can't be feeling like this every holiday. That's depressing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm praying for everybody that's on this bitch. Um, I want everybody to be good. Listen, uh, take some time for yourself, even if it's ten minutes a day. Uh, 10 minutes a day, take it for yourself, even if you just go sit on the toilet, y'all, shut everything down, close the door, cut off the lights, close your eyes, turn off social media, decompress, we need this shit, y'all, y'all don't understand the amount, the amount of shit that we put in our brains that y'all don't even know, we do it every day, the first thing y'all do when y'all get up in the morning, I promise you, you're gonna reach for your phone. OK, you got them little 10 minutes where you're trying to wait, you're gonna be scrolling in your phone and by the time you wake up, it is seven o'clock, right? By the time 7.30 hit, you have overloaded your brain with so much shit, good and bad, mostly bad, because you heard about the little girl that got abducted not last night, the, the police chase that killed three people, we looking at Trump shit, food prices at an all-time high, the lady, you know what I'm saying, on the ring camera said that somebody was in her backyard last night. When we, when we think about the shit that we register in our brain from the time we wake up, even if we do the first 15 minutes, do you realize how much shit we inhale? That shit ain't healthy shit, y'all. Stop doing that. Put that bitch down. I'm telling y'all. Put that shit down, y'all. Put that shit down, bro. We don't need that bitch. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. Like, that shit is crazy as hell. Nigga, by the time, nigga, by the time 10 o'clock hit, 12.30 hit, you know how much shit we done put in our brains? It used to be to the point where we didn't have social media. So it was like, bro, if it wasn't on our news system or it wasn't on the newspaper to where somebody was talking about it, we really didn't be privy to all this shit. 
It's like now, nigga, I'm already depressed from the shit that's happening in my city. It's like, nigga, I got to wake up, bro, and I got to listen to what happened in Atlanta, Pennsylvania, California, New York, Baltimore. Nigga, I'm all around the world with depression. The fuck? <laughs> Yo, turn. I'm telling y'all that shit ain't healthy, y'all. Just listen to me, man. Just try to take 30 minutes away from that shit. This, this can't be healthy to get all that bad news at once. It's like, the fuck? Nah. It's the Breakfast of Blood Morning Show, man. I really, really love y'all with all my heart. Shout out to the people who won lunch today. Everybody, man, y'all be safe. Make sure y'all be safe out in these streets. For real, I love y'all. I want to see y'all every day. All right, now. Nah. <laughs>